my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip Equipment, and what we have for sale here is a is a cat. This is a double steel drum roller. It's a 66 inch. It's a CB 534D, like David. Uh, the serial number of this machine is 0069. I'm going to leave that last digit blank. What we're going to do today is we're going to talk a little bit about the mechanics of this particular machine in the first clip, the operating specs in the second, and then we'll run it in the third. Uh, if you buy this tractor from me or some of the others that we have for sale, we've got a couple of, uh, we got some excavators here, um, backhoes, some skid steers, uh, service truck. Um, we got, we got quite a few things that we're looking to get rid of these days. So point is, uh, if you buy any one of these machines from me, you're going to be dealing with Pro Provencio. He's a, my right hand man. He's the guy running the camera. Uh, price on a new compactor like this these days is, um, I don't know, 150, 160 grand. As far as manufacturers go, uh, Caterpillar's ubiquitous out there. They're number one in the world of heavy construction, mining, and, and even utility equipment. And it's not because they're cheap. They're just solid, reputable, reliable uh, manufacturers that uh, are a manufacturer that um, you know their resale value is second to none there's a reason for that the weight of this uh, compactor is 24,000 pounds that's got a centrifugal force of, uh, of um, gosh I don't even remember I have to look that up and put it in the notes but um, uh, comparable machines oh I guess I gotta go through the dimensions. Uh, the widest point is this area right here, which is six foot two inches. Tallest point is the top of that cab at um, 10 foot three inches. Um, transportation length from the front of this roller to the front of that other roller is 16 foot two inches. The ground clearance right here say well what difference does that make well when you're loading it on a trailer that makes a difference that, that's what I like about that roller it's got pretty good ground clearance there so you, if you're putting it on a low boy or something you're not gonna get stuck dead center it's 12 and a half uh, inches comparable machines are like a Hom HD 90 plus as far as the history of this unit goes, this machine, like almost every machine we purchase, is an original owner Dallas, Texas machine. I say that because we are in a corrosive free environment. We're far enough south and um, we're far enough from the coast that uh, the only salt we see is on the salt on our, on our kitchen tables. and. We try to avoid that too, because both Uncle Pro and I have high blood pressure, so <laughs> we uh, we stay away from salt altogether and have anything corrosive. <laughs> uh, just about every machine we purchase comes from one of about 30 different large contractor or municipality that we deal with here in the Metroplex. This particular unit came from a guy that we do a lot of business with, quite possibly in the millions of dollars, and. Um, We've been happy with all the machines that we purchased from him, and it should be said that before we purchase any machine, I send two guys, two mechanics, to go out and inspect it. If they say everything's okay with the unit, then I send Pro Provencio to go out and, and inspect it. And if he says everything's okay with the machine, then I personally go out and I inspect it. So these machines are vetted three and four times over before we buy them. Um, as far as options go, you know, I don't know that it's got much in the way of options. It's got a, you know, a ROPS there, um, spray bars. I mean, it's, it's, a just a big double steel drum asphalt roller. The, uh, engine is a 3054, uh, C Caterpillar engine. I've heard that there's a lot of commonality in parts between that with that engine and uh, and the Perkins engine. That's a 130 gross horsepower engine, 125 net horsepower. This fuel tank is 58 gallons, which will run you anywhere from 
12 to as many as 18 hours of operation depending on your application. Uh, this machine is mechanically sound. There is absolutely, positively no leaks on it whatsoever. Everything works. Um, the hydraulics are strong. There's no cracks or welds on it. I forgot to give you the hour meter reading. It's got 2,465 hours on it. Um, like I say, the, cra the, the hydraulics are strong. There's no cracks or welds on it. All of the pins and the bushings are relatively tight. Not relatively, they are tight. There's no deflection or any kind of problem in that kingpin area, that articulation joint. Um, this drum width here is uh, it's a, called a 66 inch roller, but it's actually 67 inches. And the height of the diameter of that drum is uh, 51.2. And I want to say that the centrific max centrifugal force on this compactor is like 50,000 pounds, but I don't remember. So if I'm wrong, don't hold that against me. Um, just don't don't recall. Uh, I guess that's about it, Pro. You got anything else you want to add? We got it covered. All right. What do you think of this compactor, Pro? Oh, I love it. It's, the vibration is very strong on it. Let's that's for sure. Yeah, this thing will, uh, I mean, it'll shake. Uh, I have an office way back there, and if they're running that compactor here with that vibration, I can feel it way back in that office over there. So uh, vibration definitely works. We're going to run it in the next clip. <clears throat>
Yeah, we forgot to do the spray bar. There you go. Okay, so this is the inside of the cab here. You can see it's got 2,465 uh, hours on it. Uh, this is your uh, this is your speed control. This actually adjusts how many feet per second you go in forward and reverse. This is your park brake here. This is obviously your ignition switch. This is your engine RPM engine RPM this is your spray bar right here these have to do with your um, um, uh, vibration and then these right here have to do with uh, your lights so this is your seat this is the way your seat looks that's about it